Hello everyone, I'm your host Elias Arantopoulos and welcome to another InDesign interactive tutorial working with object states and multi-state objects for your EPUB. Up next. Inside Adobe InDesign with a document open, fully styled and properly organized with layers, a file you can download below the video description if you wish to follow along. So first of all, let's go ahead and look inside the Layers panel and at the Documents structure. As you can see here, I have two layers, the Tab to Reveal and the Description Text. So I will go ahead and toggle on the visibility of the Tab to Reveal. And this is going to be the first button on which the user will tap on for an action to be triggered. And the action that will be triggered will be basically the Description Text. Another thing is that inside the tap to reveal layer, we have this invisible button right now. This is not a button yet. It's just an empty frame, which I created in order to cover more real estate. So it's easy on the user to tap on it rather than trying to just tap on the down arrow icon. And one more thing again related to the invisible button is that this frame here, this empty frame, sits at the very top within the tap to reveal layer because this is going to be the first thing that the user taps on. All right. So these are the two main buttons, the two main layers in which the interactivity will take place. To create a button, we're going to use the buttons and forms panel to make the buttons interactive. When a user clicks a button in the exported fixed layout EPUB file, an action will be performed. So in this case, we need to go to the window menu. Inside interactive, we're going to bring up the buttons and forms panel. And here it is. All right. So first of all, we need to target which layers will be targeted and converted to be buttons. In this case, I will target the invisible frame here. And then inside the buttons and forms for the type, I will go ahead and choose the button, of course. And then for the name, let's give it a, a name that we can relate to, which is going to be the tab to reveal and just uh, click away and the change will take place. OK, so this is the first button here. How about the second one? Well, the second one is going to be inside the description text, because once the user taps on the tab to reveal, then the user will have to close this panel, which means the user will tap on the X icon here. So this X icon is represented inside the layers panel right here where it says close BTN. So I'm going to target this again inside the buttons and forms for type. I would choose button and let's give it a name of close BTN. Again, BTN is just an abbreviation for button. All right. So I'm just going to click away and now we can see the changes that took place. So we got two buttons and now we are ready to go to the next step and create the interactivity. For the interactivity to take place, we're going to have to create a multi-state object. In this case, we need to go back to the window menu, interactive, and we're going to bring up the object states panel. Now, what we're going to do is we need to select two layers because that's the minimum amount of object states that we can have to create a multi-state object. In this case, I'm going to hold on the shift key and select this two. I'm still holding the shift key, just going to target those two layers. And then inside the object states at the very bottom, we're going to click on the plus icon to convert the selection to a multi-state object. So click on that. And the first thing we see, of course, is the generic name. In this case, I will highly recommend you to rename this. I'm going to go for reveal MSO. And MSO, by the way, stands for multi-state object. It's just an abbreviation. And here is here are the two object states. Now we see the tab to reveal the first one because we did a great job inside the layers panel by having the tab to reveal layer setting at the top of the layer stack. 
Now, the event that you made a mistake, let's say I had tapped to reveal under here, it's just very easy. Just click and drag your buildings upwards. Okay, it's that easy. All right, so what we're going to do is inside this object state, we're going to target the button here, and the button is the tap to reveal button. Here it is inside the buttons and forms. For the events, we're going the event will be the on release or tap. And for the action, we're going to create a new action, which means we're going to click on the plus icon. And this is going to go to state. Which state? Well, first of all, double check the object here. In this case, I only have one multi-state object, but in many cases, you're going to have more than one multi-state object. So you definitely want to double check here. And then for the state, we'll be set to go to the description text because after the user first taps on the tab to reveal, then the description text comes second. Great. Let's go ahead and click back on the multi-state object. We're going to target the description text and inside the layers panel, I'm going to target the close button, back on the back buttons and forms, event on release or tap, click on the plus icon to create an action and that will be go to state. In this case, inside the reveal MSO, the state will be set to tap to reveal. Great. So it's time for us to see what we've done and preview our work. And we're going to do this inside InDesign with the EPUB interactivity preview panel. So for that, go back to the window menu, interactive, EPUB interactivity preview. There we go. Now, in this case, and by default, the set preview spread mode is selected. This is just for a single spread. Now, if you have multiple pages inside a document, maybe you want to choose this one. In any case, I'm just going to press to play the preview. Let's go ahead and test our work. Click, here's the description text. Click back and the description box collapses. And this is exactly what we're going for. Next up, a very short animation on the text. So for this last step, let's go ahead and create a very subtle animation targeting just the text frame here. So for that, again, we're going to target the description text object state inside the multi-state object and inside the layers panel, I will go ahead and target the text frame. There we go. So once we have that, let me go ahead and close the buttons and forms. I will go back to the window menu, interactive, and I'm going to bring up the animation panel. Right here, I'm going to choose one of the presets. So go ahead and click on the drop down menu. In this case, I'm going to choose the fade in preset. Great. Now, what I need to do is I need to set the timing. So I can go at the very bottom here and select show timing panel. Just make sure that this is selected, which means this is targeted, the text paragraph here. And then for a delay, I'm going to set this to 0 0.5 seconds. So let's go ahead and test our work. Again, we're going to go back to the window menu, interactive, and we're going to bring up the EPUB interactivity preview. So again, I'm going to click on the play preview. Let's go ahead and click on the tap to reveal, and then you're going to see the animation taking place. Click on that. Here's the subtle animation. It's a great animation. It's just a, a little touch that makes a difference. So here's an example for your interactive EPUB using button states and multi-state object. Thank you everyone for visiting my channel, listening to the inspired lectures. Do not forget to subscribe and most of all, share the knowledge.